Hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you three ways how we make our family's favorite breakfast quesadillas. You'll be amazed how easy these are, simple ingredients, and I'm hungry, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the sausage quesadillas. Crack two large eggs into a small mixing bowl. Season the eggs lightly with just a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper, then beat them together thoroughly with a fork. Set the eggs aside, now place a large non-stick pan over medium heat. You'll need about three ounces of breakfast sausage for each quesadilla, or about two patties. If you're not able to find the sausage patties at your grocery store, you can also use breakfast sausages and remove the casing. Break those up with your spatula as you saute, and because they do release some oil, there's no need to add extra oil to the skillet. Continue sauteing and stirring frequently until the sausage is lightly browned and completely cooked through. Transfer the sausage to a plate, then reduce the heat to medium-low. In the same skillet, and there's no need to wash it, add your beaten eggs. Swirl the eggs to evenly coat the bottom of the pan and let them cook gently. Once they're nearly cooked through, sprinkle the top with about two tablespoons of shredded cheese. We're just adding a little bit of cheese at this point to help the tortilla stick to the egg. Place a tortilla directly over the surface of the egg and let that rest for about 30 seconds. Now use a large thin spatula to get under the egg and flip it over. It should flip easily. If you're having trouble flipping, it means the egg needs a little longer to set, so let it stay on the heat for 30 seconds, then try flipping again. Once that's flipped over, add another two tablespoons of cheese or add the cheese to taste. Spread the cooked sausage evenly over half of the quesadilla. Fold the tortilla over to close it like a book and continue to saute on both sides until it's golden brown. Once the cheese inside is melted and your tortilla is crisp and golden brown, you can remove it from the skillet. This is such an easy breakfast idea and takes just minutes to make. Once it's out of the pan, it's ready to be sliced up and enjoyed, or you can make them ahead because they reheat really well. Our next version is the bacon and egg quesadilla for all of our bacon lovers. In a large skillet over medium-high heat, add two slices or about two ounces of chopped bacon. Saute the bacon until it's crisp and golden brown. Transfer the cooked bacon to a plate, and because bacon releases more fat, you can dab it out with a paper towel. We love that this is a one-pan breakfast, and you don't have to wash the skillet. Place that same pan over medium-low heat and add your two beaten eggs with salt and pepper. Follow the same process of cooking those gently over medium-low heat until they're mostly set. You'll know they're ready if you tilt the pan and the eggs don't run. Then sprinkle with two tablespoons of cheese and cover it with the tortilla. This process is so easy, you'll have it memorized by the end of this video. Once you flip that tortilla over, add more cheese. Then sprinkle your cooked bacon over half of the quesadilla. That crisp and salty bite of bacon is such a treat inside these. Fold the tortilla in half like a book and let that saute until golden brown on both sides. And if you like that crust to get really crisp and golden on the outside, you can add just a drop of oil to the skillet. Now I'm gonna show you our easiest version of the breakfast quesadillas because you don't even need to cook the meat ahead of time. Pour the egg mixture into your skillet over medium-low heat and let that cook gently. Sprinkle on a little bit of cheese, top with your tortilla, and flip it over. Top with more cheese, then add some sliced deli ham. This is a great way to use up leftover cooked ham, or you can just get some pre-cooked deli ham. You'll need about two ounces per quesadilla. Since the ham is already cooked, it saves you a step. Just fold that over and saute until golden brown on each side. 
Take it out of the skillet and serve right away with your favorite toppings. <laughs> I told you it was easy. Who's ready for the taste test? <laughs> oh, dang it, I just broke my nail. Still ready for the taste test. <laughs> okay, small setback. <laughs> Let's do this anyways. Okay, we're gonna start with my personal favorite, which is the sausage quesadilla. Yum, yum. I love how this becomes the biggest one because the texture of the sausage is in there. And then just sausage is so flavorful naturally. And because this has so few ingredients, I think that's why it's my favorite. It just takes it up a notch. <laughs> okay, just cut them into little wedges. I love that the outside is crisp. The inside is tender and juicy and cut them while they're warm so you've got that melty cheese. Oh, let me show ya. <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. And I love serving these with homemade pico de gallo. I have a recipe for this on my blog. I will leave a link below. This is seriously the best authentic pico de gallo and we have a secret for making it taste really authentic and you'll just have to check it out to find out what it is. It is so good and so easy. Also, it's really good with our roasted salsa. We make big batches of this in the summer and freeze it through winter so we can keep enjoying it all year long. This is so good. I love both of these and my kids love it with sour cream. So we'll just jump right into this taste test. All right, here we go. My favorite is the pico. I can keep it on there long enough to put it in my mouth. <laughs> I, I think I need more pico. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. These were so easy and super delicious. I love how fluffy the egg is inside and that they have cheese kind of all over and the cheese holds the quesadilla together, so don't skip it. Oh, and then that tender and juicy sausage. They also reheat really well. They keep really well in the fridge or the freezer, so they are perfect for meal prep for busy mornings or when you just don't feel like cooking, but still want something delicious and homemade. Speaking of children, here they come. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got different ones. Here's the sausage one for you both to sample. Cheesy sausage. Bacon. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, that, that was mine. That, that was mine too. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Okay, there you have it. What's over there? It was a hit. And there goes my breakfast. And if you guys want more easy and family friendly breakfast recipes, check out some of our favorites right over there and right down there. And make sure you click below to subscribe. And when you do click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications. Every time we post a new video, we'll see you in our next video.